Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this quick video, I want to show you how you can make a website for free if you are a Creative Cloud member using Lightroom CC or Lightroom Classic and Adobe Portfolio. And it's really cool because not only you can make the website and it looks awesome, but you can also update it really fast. Let me show you. Okay, so in this video, I want to show you uh, some new updates that Adobe made on their portfolio where you can create a website uh, for free if you're already paying a Creative Cloud member membership uh, really fast. But what's cool about it is you can update it from Lightroom Classic or Lightroom CC, whatever your weapon is. I don't work with Lightroom CC except for updating my Lightroom mobile app because I like to show my best photos on my, on my iPhone or to make this website. So this is the website we're going to be making in really uh, in a few minutes. And you know, it's got basically I got a work page where I have like my Paris portfolio, my New York portfolio, Italy best portfolio, Los Angeles portfolio, best landscape portfolio, portrait portfolio. And I did this literally in about 10 minutes. And the result is pretty cool. I mean, um, and why am I doing this is not just for the tutorial, but I'm actually going to be using this. I even bought and it took me like five minutes and you done a domain name called photosearch.net, which you can see here, which is this website. Uh, here is why I already have a website that I did with Squarespace years ago called surgeremanyphotos.com, uh, which I really like. The thing is that this website only has my 20 best work. And sometimes actually many times it happens where like, you know, on my Paris section, there's only my 20 best photos ever and you know I, I will link to a video below on why I'm doing this why I'm only giving 20 photos uh, per uh, section there's a very specific reason however sometimes people write me saying like yeah but don't you have some other stuff from Paris so like I gotta have a second website where I have like all my best Paris work uh, where there's a lot more photos for people which are just interested for Paris or New York or whatever so that's what my um, Adobe portfolio is going to be and voila it's pretty cool now it, if you're not a Critical Cloud member, you can go to photosearch.com and you click on my gear page and you can get a good deal on the uh, Adobe Creative Photography plan, which is basically like $10, $11 per month where you get Lightroom and Photoshop. Honestly, if you're passionate about photography, this is the package to get because you're going to get also this website and it's really cool. So how do we do this from Lightroom Classic? I'm going to show you my workflow from Lightroom Classic and then going into Lightroom CC. So. In my Lightroom, I do I work a lot with collections. I have basically, uh, this is a set of collection called Portfolio. And in that, you know, for the last 15 years, I've been creating different set of collections. For example, Italy, where, you know, you have my best photo of Cinque Terre, of Florence, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera, Tuscany and stuff like that. So just for this tutorial, I'm going to take my New Zealand series, which is I did years ago. I went to New Zealand and I'm going to create a new collection and that collection is going to go into Lightroom CC and then directly on my website. So how to do that? One easy way to do that is I, you just click here. So I'm going to click here and now it's going to sync um, this collection to Lightroom CC. Now, for, sh for that, you need to go here and make sure you're logged in here with your Creative Cloud membership. And that's going to basically take this whole collection, all right, and put it over Lightroom CC. So let's go to Lightroom CC and we should be seeing this collection called New Zealand. Here it is, 26. I've got two because I already had another one, but that's fine. So that's the one we're getting, uh, we're getting it now. Now, I don't want to necessarily put this whole collection uh, or maybe, yeah, let's, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this simple. I want this to be uh, on, you know, on my website. Now I'm going to edit it here. Uh, I'm going to erase this photo. I'm going to erase this photo. I think it's too saturated. That was a time where I was crazy on saturation. Uh, that was back in the day where I was crazy. Yeah, I'm just going to leave the rest. But these two were just over the top for me. And okay, so now how do we get this on my website? Well, I'll give you a little organization point. What I do is I'm going to rename this, for example, I'm going to call it best New Zealand portfolio. Okay, so the collection is here. Now for organization purposes, I created a folder, you have the ability in Lightroom CC to create albums and folder, you just click here create album or folder. I created a, a folder called portfolio. I'm going to drag and drop this in my portfolio folder. Okay. It's a folder. It's, it's I created this. Okay. Now in this folder, uh, I have all the, basically all the collection, all the albums. So collections are called albums on Lightroom CC, but it's the same thing. So I have this 
and uh, I want to get this on my website. So all I have to do is right click share Adobe portfolio. Okay. And that's going to take you to this connection thing where you have all the albums or collections, whatever you want to call them, which are automatically sent on the web and boom, you're almost done. Head over to Adobe portfolio to continue. So I'm going to go to Adobe portfolio and, um, and this is my website. And basically, so this is the collection. It's already there. It's already on the web. If you go to photosearch.net, you should be not quite seeing it yet because I don't think I need to, I think I need to click that button, but here's my collections. So basically I'm going to click here and you can see all the collections that I've sent over from Lightroom CC to the web. And here it is the best New Zealand portfolio. And by the way, I made a typo on uh, New Zealand. That's fine. So you can go here, edit page title and it needs an A. Good. All right. So here it is. And you can see that it's, um, Sorry, I got to click back here. You can see because this is on, it's on the website. So my Paris portfolio, I, I set as a homepage because I'm more known for my Paris photo. But if I wanted to set this one as my homepage of my website, I could go here, set as homepage. I'm not going to do that. Also here, the sequence of uh, the, uh, you know, of the different collections is the order they're going to appear on the website. So I want this to be all the way at the bottom, but it's here, it's there. Okay. So now I can see here the, uh, what the, uh, you know, the, the theme that I used and you can change theme as much as you want. So if you click here on this button, you have different theme that you can use. I have been using the Ludwig because I love basically the fact that it's black, uh, you know, and the photos are big, you know, but you can choose whatever, uh, basically, you know, whatever theme you want. So let's, let's go back. Okay. And now here I am. If I click here on this, on this menu, I'm oh, sorry. That's the about me page. Let me go back to home. I want, if I click on work, work is basically where I have all my portfolio that I've imported. You can see, so I've got a Paris portfolio, New York portfolio, uh, Italy best. I'm going to take out the word best here. It's not good. Uh, but here is the New Zealand portfolio. Now let's say I don't like this photo, uh, to be, uh, you know, representing New Zealand. I can click here. I can click on edit cover image and it only works basically on, on the thumbnails of the portfolio, when you're looking at all your portfolio. And, uh, I think let's see here, I'm going to put maybe, uh, uh, this one, you know, as the, as the cover. Okay. So good. So I'm happy with that. Now, uh, a few things while we're here before I update the, the website. So if you click here, you can customize your design. If you know what you're doing, you know, like website, you know, I haven't done anything. I use the basic things and I might do a more video more in depth, but basically you can do that. All I did was go here. I just want to see how simple it is. I want to make this like you've never done a website. You just want to get something up and going, you know, in a few minutes, you're not a webmaster. This is the way to go. So it's really cool. And the thing that's amazing is that I can now, and I'll show you that I can add photos in Lightroom and I can update my website in just a, a few seconds. So, okay. I got all my portfolios there. I'm happy about it. Uh, I have a contact page. I have an about me page. I'm going to show you in a minute how I did that. But before I show you that you can go here to settings. And basically settings is like a little checklist you go through. So homepage, uh, you can decide what your homepage is going to be. I put the Paris portfolio page, not found. You can decide I, I put the work page. The work page is the default page with all your, uh, collections, uh, analytics here. You can put your Google analytics tracking code, which I haven't done yet. Search optimization. You can put like a website title. So like, for example, sell Germany photography. Okay. And here you can put some meta description. I would put more, the more, the better, because that's going to help the C SEO search engine optimization. You can even add keywords here, uh, custom meta tags. This is more advanced. I'm not going to go into it. Five icon five icon is basically, you know, the, the little, this image here that you can see, uh, that's going to show you website. So all I did is, uh, basically took a, one of my photos and put it there. Web clip icon, same thing. I just put the same photo, social media sharing, same thing. I put the same photo. You just, you know, pick a photo and, uh, and you're good site option. I didn't, I left the default password protection. I didn't use it. Cookie banner. I didn't use it. Uh, I hate this cookie banners. I don't want to have one on my website. This one, I have no idea what it does. Unpublished website. I don't want to do that. And that's it. One thing I forgot to show you, which is very important is the first one domain name. Now, it took me five minutes. I bought photosearch.net to put this website on. You have the option to either buy a new domain name, which I did, which was like $12 or per year or to connect another one and it gives you all the instructions. So I did that. So it's, it's cool. So now this is like photos. If you know, if you go on the web and type photosearch.net, the website is live. 
you can see here it's really cool uh, if I go to work I already have my New Zealand uh, not oh I don't have the New Zealand one because I have not updated it yet and that's basically all I did it's really cool so now remember we, we added this collection of New Zealand so I have to click update left website and wait for it view your website and now my website is up like if I go to work I got all my collections and uh, best New Zealand portfolio I want to take out the word best. I think best was a mistake, but here is my best work in New Zealand. And uh, it's really cool. It's so fast. So I can go back here and I can click here and I can, uh, you know, I don't like the word best. I don't know why I use that. It's really stupid. Edit page title. So I'm just going to call it, I'm going to call it like Italy, for example. Edit page title. So I'm going to call this one Italy. Press enter. Uh, New York, I'm going to call it, I, I'm going to just going to call it, you have to click edit page shell. I'm going to call it New York. And I'm going to do that for every other page. So let's say I want to add a photo. I'm in Lightroom Classic and um, I'm just going to, just for the sake of an example, I'm going to take a photo from Florida. Let's take uh, something nice. This one, for example, and I'm going to pretend this was shot in New Zealand just to show you. So I'm adding this to my best New Zealand portfolio. Now remember, because this is marked, automatically this is going to go to Lightroom CC. So here I am in Lightroom CC. So you can see the, uh, here it is. It's, uh, it, it just it was added from Lightroom Classic to Lightroom CC. So now all I have to do is go back to the web and on my New Zealand uh, collection, I click here and I click reset from Lightroom and reset from Adobe Lightroom is basically going to look at any updates that I did there and basically uh, back to editor it's going to reset it and now this Florida photo which has nothing to do there is going to be in New Zealand somewhere there probably at the end of the collection here yes it is it's the last one and then I can click update live site and view your site and now if I go to work and if I go to uh, my New Zealand collections, uh, I will see at the end a photo from Florida, which has nothing to do with New Zealand. But uh, that was just to show you how you can basically really quickly add things. So, you know, I repeat, all you have to do is you drag something new in your collection that is to Lightroom CC. It's going to update Lightroom CC automatically. And then you just go on your website and you click. Uh, you go on your on your different collections and you click reset from Lightroom and so that works for anything So let's say for example, I wanted to uh, retouch a photo completely differently like um, for example this one, uh, you know I'm gonna make it like super blue like I'm gonna make it black and white for example, okay? I'm gonna make it black and white you know, it's awful, but you know you get the idea so if I go on the web this photo is beautiful it's here it now let's make it ugly in black and white so i've changed it in lightroom classic let's go to lightroom cc and it should update in a second boom now it's ugly in black and white but if i go on my new zealand thing it's still beautiful photo but again if i go here i go to new zealand and i click reset from lightroom reset from lightroom uh, this beautiful colorful photo is going to go from a, to an ugly black and white uh, which is which you're going to see in a second uh, here here it is and I have to click update live website and again you know it's gonna update the website so it's kind of cool because you know my flagship is really Lightroom classic I'm there all the time you know uh, doing you know my retouching and things like this and being able to just go there and update everything from Lightroom classic to Lightroom CC to my website is kind of cool now if you want to create a, a different page I'm not an expert at all of this but let's say you, I created, for example, an about page. Let me show it to you. I created an about page. I'll show you how I did it. There's a little bit of text. There's a big photo of me. Honestly, it's a little too big, but I have to figure that out. But uh, so you go here and you create, you can create a new page, a new Lightroom album, a new gallery or external pages. So for example, I clicked on page and you got different, you know, default centered. So I did the cover white one. And then, you know, I, I, let's call it, you know, task, for example create page and then uh, here you are I can click upload an image you know so I took a portrait and you can go here basically you know add whatever text you want here now just a little trick let's say that uh, I'll give you you want you can move this around by the way because this is kind of this menu is kind of annoying sometimes so let's say I'm here and let's say I want to uh, you know make an ad on my YouTube channel like oh I got a cool YouTube channel it's a little trick 
as again, this is a super beginner tutorial. So, you know, my YouTube channel is youtube.com slash Serge Remily Photography. Uh, sorry, youtube.com slash Serge Remily Photography. Okay. And uh, now you want people to click on this and go on the YouTube channel. So what you can do is you can basically take that and create command C, put it into memory, click here on the link button and click link to external URL. I'm going to put this as a URL and click open in, in, a, in a new tab. Done. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to preview this page. Let's see here. And now if I click on that, it should take me to my web, to my YouTube channel. Bonjour, and it does, which is really cool. So voila, that's how you create a page. I'm going to go back to edit and I'm actually going to erase this page. So I can go here. Here's a test page. And I'm just going to basically delete the page. Are you sure? I am sure. That was just to show you how to create a page. So voila, that's how you can create a website in seconds. It's kind of really cool. And you can do that, you know, from your Lightroom Classic or your Lightroom CC, whatever your flagship is. And you can update the things in seconds. And I think I'm really going to be using this website now to really, you know, when somebody wants to see, okay, show me all your Paris work, you know, well, I can, you know, I can put just more than my 20 photos of my best portfolio. Well, I hope this helps you to also understand how Lightroom Classic works with Lightroom CC. And by the way, if you want to know how I retouch my photos, you should get my free photography toolkit. Basically what it is, it's my, some of my best presets, some of my best textures, some of my best glares and glows and things like this that I use in my photography. It's all, it's completely free and the link is below the video. So check it out and it's, I'm going to show you also how to use this tools to get your photography to the next level. Check out my free photography toolkit. Thank you very much and I'll see you in another episode.